Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm here with another Pahela Boishak makeup look and for that I have created this brown and gold eye look and of course I have paired it with dark red lipstick. I shared with you another Pahela Boishak makeup look a couple of days ago and you guys loved that look so much so I decided to do another one and here it is. So it is a Pahela Boishak look but I think this look is perfect as wedding guest makeup look as well. Before starting if you are new here then please take a moment to subscribe and please help my channel to grow even more. So without further ado let's get started. First I am taking this wet and wild water drop primer this is the rose one and I am just applying it all over on my face and neck. I already moisturized my face with my Vaseline uh, moisturizer so I am not moisturizing my face again. As the primer needs some time to settle down, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. For that, I'm using this Wet n Wild uh, Eyebrow Pomade in Espresso or Espresso, and I'm just creating the borders of my brows first. Then I'll be filling it in using smaller strokes. I already shared with you my eyebrow routine a couple of months ago. I will link that video down in the description bar below, so please go ahead and check that out. Now I'm just combing my brows so that there is no patchiness. Now I'm taking this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C7 and I'm just cleaning up the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and defined and the brush that I'm using is from Puna Store. Now I'm taking this Elegal Pro Conceal Yellow and Orange Characters. I have mixed them both in equal quantity. Now I'm just applying it underneath my eyes, around my mouth and wherever I have pigmentation and acne spots. This will help to neutralize all those darkness underneath and my foundation will not look grayish in color. I'm just blending everything out using a damp beauty sponge from Studio 35. For my foundation, today I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in Classic Beige and first i'm just applying it all over on my face and neck then i'll be blending it in using my real techniques brush this is the foundation brush this foundation is again gorgeous if you have a normal to dry skin if you will uh, enjoy this foundation this gives a perfect glow to the skin and it does not look cakey or heavy at all now for concealing and highlighting i'm using the same concealer and i'm just applying it Underneath my eyes, on my chin, cupid bow, the sides of my mouth, down the bridge of my nose, on the center of my forehead, as well as just under where I'm going to place my contour next. Now again, I'm just blending everything out using the same damp beauty sponge from Studio 35. Blending out your uh, concealer, highlighting concealer is really really important otherwise it looks like a straight white mark and it does not look good at all. And I'm also applying the concealer on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows. Now I'm taking this Varath & Doris loose powder in 07 and I'm just uh, setting my under eyes, eyelids and smile lines and for that I'm using the same damp beauty sponge. For setting my entire face, I'm taking this Rimmel London Stay Matte Paste Powder in 003 Transparent and with this powder puff, I'm just setting my entire face and neck. I'm just baking my under eyes and smile lines for that I'm applying tons of loose powder on those areas also if I get any fallout due to the eyeshadows then it will catch that fallout and I will uh, dust it off without spoiling my base I'm taking this shade called MFEO from my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just applying it as my transition color and the brush that I'm using is from Puna store again I'm taking a rock sand from the same palette which is a, a warm toned brown color and with this elf blending brush I'm just applying it uh, on my outer V area and I'm also dragging it into my crease a bit for that I'm not using any extra product I'm just using whatever is left on my brush. I'm taking queen which is a gorgeous shimmery gold color and uh, with this brush from Tunasto, I'm just applying it all over on my eyelids. Now, 
I'm taking cheap which is a dark brown color and again with another elf brush I'm just applying it on my outer V area to give my outer V area a bit depth and also I'm going to drag the color into my crease a bit and again I'm not using any excess product I'm just using whatever is left on my brush now for tight lining I'm using my Jordana easy liner in jet black now I'm applying cheap on my lower lash line for that I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush again from Puna store I'm just creating a nice uh, wing here with my NYX eyeliner I'm sorry guys I uh, became a bit out of frame and I did not even realize that And I'm taking uh, Enlight from the same palette and I'm just highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners. This is a stunning color for highlighting your brow bones and inner corners. And I'm just prepping my natural lashes for falsies. For that first I'm curling them with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm just applying um, a coat of mascara. This is Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. For my lashes, I'm going to use these Adel 3D Fox Mink Lashes in 857 and here is the final eye look. I love these lashes. The style is amazing as well as they are so lightweight that you cannot even feel that you are wearing falsies. Now I'm taking this Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Caramel Toffee and with this uh, Wet n Wild Contour Brush, I'm just contouring the parameters of my face like the hollows of my cheeks, uh, my jawline to hide all those double chins, my forehead as well as my nose and for that I'm using an eyeshadow brush. This brush is again from Punasto. For my blush, I'm using this uh, NYX HD blush in Electra and this is as pigmented as it looks in the pan so you have to take a very little amount of product otherwise you will end up having clown cheeks. And I'm um, just applying it on my cheeks using the stippling brush from Wet n Wild. For my highlighter, I'm using this Makeup Revolution Pro Illuminate highlighter and with this fan brush from Puna Store, I'm just hitting the high points of my face like my cheekbones, chin, cupid bow, down the bridge of my nose, also the tip of my nose and the sides of my forehead. I'm just setting my entire makeup using my e.l.f. makeup setting spray. For my lips, first I'm aligning my lips with this Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in Red The Scene. And now I'm taking this Rimmel Stay Satin uh, Liquid Lipstick in Radical and I'm just applying it on my lips. Of course it's a lipstick. <laughs> Love the formula of this lipstick. And that pretty much concludes the look. And here is the final look with all those jewelries, sari, bindi and red flowers on my hair. And for the first time in my life, I tried to do this kind of hairstyle all by myself and I'm so proud of it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below. So please do check that out. So see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.